Welcome to the MP3300 Hardware Overview eLearning video. Hi, I am Micah Studeman. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to some of the MP3300 IEC hardware components, talk about MotionWorks IEC compatibility, and look at some frequently asked questions. Building on Yaskawa's proven IEC platform, the MP3300 IEC is an industrial machine controller that is capable of controlling multiple servo axes, robotic mechanisms, thousands of inputs and outputs, and supporting several network protocols. Now let's look closer at the hardware. The controller consists of a base unit, I.O. modules, and a CPU card. The base unit contains the power supply and slots for one CPU card and I.O. expansion. On the left side of the power supply, Starting at the top, there is a power LED that shows the status of the power coming into the base unit. Below that is the backup battery compartment. This battery is used for storing variable data, absolute encoder offsets, and alarm history. Next is the relay out connector. This connector is internally wired to normally close contacts of a relay, which is operated by the firmware. So when the error LED is on, the switch will open and break the connection through the relay out connector. The power for the controller can either be supplied from a 24 volt DC source or from a 110 to 220 volt AC source. The AC input is only available on the 8 option slot base unit, where the DC input is available on all of the base units. The base unit can have 1, 3, or eight I.O. expansion slots. This allows the controller to have the correct amount of I.O. for each application. Here's a list of all the supported option cards. There are digital I.O. cards, analog I.O. cards, and a communications card that are supported. The second part of the controller is the CPU card. This card is the brains of the controller and has multiple different variants. There are 400 megahertz models, 800 MHz models, and 1.2 GHz models. The 400 MHz models can support up to 20 servo axes, the 800 MHz models can support up to 32 servo axes, and the 1.2 GHz models can support up to 62 axes. It is important to note that the 1.2 GHz card takes up two slots within the controller, so if you are putting a 1.2 GHz CPU into a single slot base unit, then there will be no room for I.O. on the controller. In this case, a bigger base unit or external I.O. could be considered. Starting at the top of the CPU card, there is a 7 segment display. This is used for showing the IP address when the test switch is on and for showing boot up and firmware update info. To the right of the display are the status LEDs. The top two LEDs turn on when the controller is ready to run and when the motion program is currently running on the controller. The bottom four LEDs turn on when the controller requires attention from the user. These LEDs give programmer and maintenance staff quick feedback on the operational status of the controller. Below the status LEDs are the mode switches. These switches are here for user convenience and troubleshooting. The test and config switch can be set to on. The others can be set to off. The function of most mode switches can also be accomplished through software. The small door below the switches reveals a USB port and button that may be used for future development. On the bottom of the CPU card lies the standard Ethernet port that allows the controller to communicate with other industrial devices over protocols like Modbus TCP, Ethernet IP, and OPC. OPC DA and UA are currently supported when running the server on a separate device that is in the system. This port also allows the user to program the controller and view the web UI. Custom communications such as ASCII, binary, and TCP IP can be created and used to communicate to other devices in the system as well. In the middle of the CPU card lies the Mechatrolink 3 ports, CN1 and CN2. These are used primarily with the servo amplifiers and other external motion I.O. devices. The MP3300 IEC is available with either the IMI connector, 
which is currently used on the Mechatronic 3 Sigma 5 amplifiers, or the RJ45 connector, which is used on the Sigma 7 amplifiers. Conversion cables are needed when connecting the IMAV version of the CPU card to the Sigma 7 servos. The recommendation is to use the RJ45 variants of the CPU card. Communication link lights for the Mechatronic network are located on the upper left side of the USB port door above the Mechatronic ports. The MP3300 ISC controller uses Mechatronic 3 as its motion network protocol. Mechatronic 3 is an open source protocol that is built for motion systems. This protocol is deterministic, which allows the data to be captured and used at a set time. This is useful when trying to control a machine for a high precision application. Because of how the protocol operates, it can be used in electrically noisy environments and still maintain control of the machinery. Using this protocol, the controller can communicate to the other devices at any scan rate ranging from 250 microseconds up to 4 milliseconds. When connecting to slave devices, make sure that the first slave address starts at node address 3 because the first two addresses are used for other internal communication functions. One function of Mechatronic 3 that makes it relatively noise immune is the data retry functionality. This allows the Mechatronic command to be repeated. If the initial command gets corrupted because of noise, the repeated command can be used instead and the machinery can operate without issues. When using the Mechatronic network, set the data retry as high as the application network time will allow. This can be set in the hardware configuration of Motionworks IEC. Mechatronic 3 networks support the cascaded topology, which sends the data to all devices that are connected within a line, star topology, which uses a hub device to distribute the data to the other devices, and cascaded star topology. These topologies allow the Mechatronic 3 network to be flexible when setting up a machine. When setting up your Mechatronic network, it may be beneficial to consider the two branch topology. With this topology, the system can be split into an IO section and a servo pack section. Or if you have panels in different locations, you can set up each panel with a separate port. This allows one panel to be taken offline while keeping the other panel running. The same programming software, Motionworks IEC, that was used with the MP2000 IEC controllers is also used when programming the MP3300 IEC controller. The 400 MHz and 800 MHz IMI connector CPU cards are supported in all the versions of Motionworks IEC 3, where the RJ45 and 1.2 GHz CPU cards are officially supported in Motionworks IEC version 3.4. Now let's look at some frequently asked questions. First, can the MP3300 IEC control Mechatronic 2 servos? The Mechatronic 3 communication protocol is similar to the Mechatronic 2 communication protocol, but they are different enough to be incompatible with each other. The Mechatronic 3 network is faster because it has modified network packets that allow the network to run at higher speeds. There are also many other Yaskawa products that are supported on the Mechatronic 3 network. Second, can I put a 1.2 GHz CPU and one option module into a single slot base unit? Because the 1.2 GHz CPU needs a bigger heatsink, which takes up the second slot, to control all of its power, the single slot base unit is unable to hold the I.O. module as well. This can easily be solved by using either a bigger base unit or external I.O. This concludes the e-learning module. Thanks for watching, and please feel free to contact the Technical Training Service Group of Yaskawa with any and all questions and comments.